there's no denying that the color orange commands attention. It's exciting and flamboyant. It combines the strength and determination of the color red with the gentleness and joy of the hue yellow. There are approximately 30 different types of flowers that come in orange. Get your orange flower garden off to a great start with this list of the top orange garden flowers and how to care for them. But I must issue a word of caution. If your orange trees bloom in unison, you'll be the envy of the neighborhood. Number one, ranunculus. The ranunculus flower is a multi-layered explosion of vivid hues. Because of their sturdy stems, the flowers can be displayed prominently for all to admire. In late summer, they turn a pale yellow color. When this occurs, you can bring the flowers inside and give them a second healthy life in a vase. Leave some of the greenery behind though, because it will help store the sun's energy for the following year's crop of flowers. Well-drained soil and full sunlight are ideal conditions for growing ranunculus and hardiness, zones eight through 11. Number two, lion's tail. The flowers of the lion's tail, or Leonotes leonurus, are both unique and expressive. This perennial is a sight to behold. Its tall, stately stature and vibrant orange flowers command attention wherever they are displayed. The spine of a lion's tail is covered in sharp thorns, much like the claws and teeth of the jungle lion from which it gets its name. Because it can withstand dry conditions for extended periods of time, lion's tail is a reliable addition to any garden. A well-drained soil and full sun are all that's needed for lion's tail to flourish in hardiness zones 10 and 11. Number three, begonia. Plant your begonias in between other flowers that stand tall and provide ample shade and protection from the wind. Be sure to select an orange varietal as begonias come in many different shades. The large bright double blooms of the begonia stand out well atop dark green foliage underneath. Be careful not to overwater their soil, but keep it nice and moist. Begonias enjoy zones six to 11 and prefer moist, well-drained soil. Number four, marigold. You should place your begonias in a sheltered area out of the wind among other taller flowers. Because there are so many different varieties of begonias, you should pick one with orange flowers. In contrast to the dark green of the begonia's stems and leaves, the begonia's large, vivid double blooms are a sight to behold. Keep the soil nice and moist, but avoid drowning them. Begonias thrive in zones six through 11 and require a combination of full sun and partial shade as well as moist, well-drained soil. Number six, butterfly weed. The butterfly weed, despite its name, is not an invasive weed at all, but rather a beautiful bushy perennial with clusters of bright, flat-topped orange flowers that can be seen from a great distance. One drawback to these sweet delights is that they often attract aphids. Blast the plants with water or run your fingers along the underside of their landscapes, leaves a few times a week to keep them pest free. Butterflyweed thrives in full sun and well-drained soil in zones three to nine. Number seven, dahlia. Dahlias are characterized by their large, showy flowers that are surrounded by spiked, curved petals. Due to their sensitivity to cold, Dahlia should not be planted until the ground temperature in your garden reaches 60 degrees. Dahlias prefer a consistently moist environment, but you shouldn't drown them in water. Since dahlias come in such a wide range of colors, it's important to pick orange varieties. If you live in zone eight through 10, full sun and moist conditions are ideal for your dahlias. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.